Luke chapter 5 verses 15. Luke sura ya 5 mstari wa 15. The Bible says, Biblia yasema, but so much the more, lakini hata zaidi, when there a fame abroad of him, when when there a fame, wakati wakati sifa yake ilienea and great multitudes came together to hear na kundi kubwa likamfuata kumsikiza and to be healed na hili waponywe by him of their infirmities kwa ajili yao kwa ajili ya magonjwa yao and he withdrew himself into the wilderness and prayed na akajitoa kuenda jangwani akaomba And it came to pass on a certain day, na ikaja siku moja, as he was teaching, wakati alikuwa anafunza, that there were Pharisees and doctors of the law sitting by, kulikuwa na masadukayo na wafarisayo, which were come out of every town, walipokuwa natoka miji yote of Galilee, Galili, and Judea, na hata Judea, and Jerusalem, na Jerusalem. And now watch this. Tazama sasa and the power of the law na nguvu za Bwana was present to heal them zilikuwa hapo kuponya amen praise god wana asifiwe say hi to me nisalamie i want to preach in very few minutes nataka kuhubiri kwa muda mfupi sana about the power of god kwa ajili ya nguvu za Bwana about the power of god nguvu za Mungu about the power of God nguvu za Mungu about the power of God kuhusu nguvu za Mungu nguvu za Bwana the power of God i have recently his testimony the power of God saved him from death amesikiza ushuhuda wangu nguvu za Mungu zilinyokoa toka makuti In this dispensation we are in, kwa wakati huu tunaoishi, we cannot just preach the word. Hatuwezi kuhubiri tu neno. We cannot just preach the word. Hatuwezi kuhubiri tu neno. What minus the power of God is just a speech. Neno bila nguvu za Mungu ni hotuba tu. Hotuba tu. The word preach minus power is just a speech neno kuhubiriwa bila nguvu za Mungu ni hotuba tu this generation needs the power of god kizazi hiki chaitaji nguvu za Mungu and what you need pastor as one this generation has missed on the power of god inauzulisha sana kizazi hiki kimekosa nguvu za Mungu this generation has not feel the power of god kizazi hiki hakijaishi nguvu za mungu the power of god one day came upon me and i was paralyzed ne nguvu za mungu zilimjia siku moja na akapoza i was one day in church siku moja mchungaji alikuwa kanisani we were with my wife alikuwa na mke wake and a few other brethren na wapendwa wengine wa church in the other church the other side kwa kanisa lingine pande ile and as this keyboard wakati chombo hicho was being touched ilikuwa kinaguzwa the power of god entered into me nguvu za bwana zilimjia i was sitting like where pastor is sitting alikuwa na keki kama vile mchungaji alivyo keki i stood up quietly and walked to the altar alitembea polepole kuzongea madhibao and started singing with that tune na akaanza kuimba na sauti ile they didn't realize but after some time they realized something is happening hawakujua lakini baada ya muda wakagundua kuna kitu chafanyika the power of god fell on me nguvu za bwana zilimshukia and they started transferring the power to the people that it was not a sunday it was a god has not come on a day that we expect na nguvu za bwana azidi ile siku kama tunatarajia tu no it doesn't sio hivyo they come when you don't expect sinakuja wakati hautarajii when we were in the house wakati watu wako katika nyumba doing nothing on fire the church that's what the power of god decides to get the 120 that are praying 
in the upper room nguvu za kuana zinashuka juu ya wale 120 waliokuwa wanaomba katika chumba cha juu the power of God came upon me nguvu za kuana zikamshukia i cried akalia i cried akalia i was glued to the floor for about 5 hours alikuwa ameshikwa na nguvu hizo za kijana na saba tano the power of God came and touched my wife nguvu hizo zikamshukia mke wake the power of God came and touched another person Shika mtu mwingine aliyekuwa pale paradise wapendwa wote wakashikwa na nguvu hizo I spoke with in tongues for more than a week akanena kwa nini za idi ya wiki moja For more than a week za idi ya juma moja I was speaking in tongues alikuwa akinena kwa nini Another day we were preaching in the church na siku nyingine alikuwa akihudumu hasa Bonus. Bonus. I spoke in tongues for more than 48 hours. Akanena kwa nini za kile masaru wa inana? Nonstop. Bila kukoma. This generation is the power of God. Kizazi hiki cha hitaji nguvu za Bwana. This generation is the power of God. Kizazi hiki cha hitaji nguvu za Mungu. This generation is the power of God. Kizazi hiki cha hitaji nguvu za Mungu. This generation is the power of God. I was watching some of the things that my 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 friend the pastor was sharing. Alikuwa akiona vitu vingine ambavyo mchungaji alikuwa akishiriki. Share what was happening yesterday. Alipokuwa akishiriki yale alikuwa anatendeka hapa jana. I think that when he is sitting, alikuwa amekaa mahala. How are God touch me? Mungu za Bwana zikamjua. Zikamuinua. Zikamshusha pale chini. Alikuwa akilela pale zaidi ya sana. Ninajua ya kwamba kuna kitu kwa ajili ya mkutano huu. Something about this meeting. Kuna kitu kwa ajili ya mkutano huu. Something about this meeting. Kuna kitu kwa ajili ya mkutano huu. Something about this meeting. Kuna kitu kwa ajili ya mkutano huu. Something about this meeting. Kuna kitu kwa ajili ya mkutano huu. There is something about this meeting. Kuna kitu kwa ajili ya mkutano huu. We were preaching with Pastor Lenny in Uganda. Alikuwa na ubili na mchungaji Lenny kule Uganda. Na Mungu kabana tukamshukia mwanamke mmoja. Who had been sent to attack with a cobra spirit. Ambaye alikuwa na nguvu za joka mkubwa wa cobra. And he was there. Na alikuwa pale. And the power of God came upon her. Na Mungu kabana tukamshukia. See in my Facebook and my YouTube. Ukiangalia kwa YouTube na Facebook yake. She wanted to attack me. Alitaka kumdhuru mchungaji. And she just showed those signs mama was watching like And that lady bowed down her kingdom, the devil bowed her kingdom. Na shetani akashuka na nguvu zake. And we planted a church in Uganda. Na tukalipanda kanisa kule Uganda. The devil does not want you to display the power of God. Shetani apendi ujazo nguvu za Mungu. He has no other problem with you. Hana shida nyingine na wewe. You can preach. Unaweza kuhubiri. You can see. Unaweza imba. You can go to church. Unaweza enda kanisani. But do not manifest the greatness of our God. Lakini hataki utembe katika nguvu kuu za Mungu. The devil is the power of God. Shetani anatukia nguvu za Mungu. Because it is the power that delivers. Maana ni nguvu zote tukomboa. Let me see how many people in the power of God today. Wangapi wanahitaji nguvu za Bwana leo? You 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 must wewe, have, wewe. you must have felt the power of God today lazima umeisi nguvu za Bwana leo Moses was, was living in the corner of prayer and said to you maana alipokuwa anatoka alina aliweka ujumbe wa maombi ya kutumia and i feel the power of God jumping over you na akaisi nguvu za Bwana kushukia be ready for anything that God may want to do kwa viani wale wote wale kwa kwa kufanya nawe praise the name of Jesus kwa na Yesu asifiwe The Bible where we have read Ina nakuwa na mahala tumesoma In verse 15 katika sura msura ya 5 mstari wa 15 We see the impact of the power of God Tunaona ile nguvu za Bwana na kazi yake Exactly In verse 17 katika mstari wa 17 we see the source of the power tunaona chanzo cha nguvu in verses 17 and all in verses katika mstari unaofuata we see the illustration of the power of god tunaona nguvu za bwana zikijiwasilisha
impact of the power of God. Kazi ya nguvu za Bwana. The power of God is described in the Bible with two Greek words. Nguvu za Bwana zina wasilishwa kwetu kwa Biblia kwa maneno mawili ya Kiyunani. One is exosia. Ya kwanza vile amesema exosia and two the second one is dunamis. Ya pili ni dunamis. Exosia. Exosia is the delegated power ni nguvu ambazo zimewasilishwa The president may want to be in Zimmerman but he can delegate Rais anaweza itachika kuwa hapa Zimmerman lakini anaweza tuma mwakilishi When this man who is representing the president stands here mtu huyu anayemwakilisha rais akisimama hapa and begins to read or to give what the president has sent him we akianza kusoma ule utumba rais amemtuma nao it is the president speaking ni rais anaongea it is the president speaking ni rais anaongea he the speech he reads kama utumba anaosoma says that there shall be no drinking liquor after 7 pm akisema hakuna kunywa pombe kuanzia saa 1 even if this man is a just a the west record of uh, in the government maybe uh, 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 The man standing here is not the president. Mtu anayesimama sio rais. But he's carrying the message of the president. Lakini anaweka uchume wa rais. Praise the Lord. Amen. I am not Jesus. Yes, Christo. But I am carrying the message of Jesus. Akaka anaweka uchume wa Christo. That is why they must free. Ndio maana mapepo yatoroka. They must live in my meeting and they sleep and go because I am carrying Jesus. Mapepo
ningún buzamón. It is the capacity of God. Ni uwezo wa Mungu. That's why when we say the power of God, na kwa sema nguvu za Mungu, we don't say the power of God. Atusem nguvu za Mungu. It is impossible for you to say I am filled with the power of God. Ni vigumu kwa kusema nimejazwa na nguvu za Mungu. Even if you are not a loud person, you will say I am filled with the power of God. Hata kama huna sauti kwa sema nimejazwa na nguvu za Mungu. Let me hear you say the power of God. Sema nguvu za Mungu. I can't hear. Ah God. Put some put some gusto the power of God. Nguvu za Mungu. Ni mechazo with the za Mungu. It is ability of God. Ni uwezo wa Mungu. It is the capacity of God. Ni uwezo wa Mungu. It is the strength of God. Ni mamlaka nguvu na uwezo wa Mungu. The one now you see here is and the power of God, the dunamis, the strength of God. Ya kwamba nguvu na uwezo wa Mungu was available to heal me in the kuponya praise god praise the lord the impact of the power of god ile uweza wa nguvu za mungu the bible says but so much the more when they are fame a brood of his ya kwamba na sifa zake zilienea sana ya wenda utafim sifa zake zilienea sana that is what now the impact of the power of god is hiyo ndio kazi ya nguvu ya mungu it gives you some popularity inakupatia uwezo wa kujulikana and the great multitudes came together to hear na kwamba kundi kubwa lilikuja kumsikiza without the power of god there is no greatness bila nguvu za Mungu hakuna ukuu. The, 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 the people that came to listen to him was a great multitude. Wale waliokuja kumsikiza walikuwa kundi kubwa. Amen. So when you carry the power of God, unapobeba nguvu za Mungu, there is a greatness in you. Kuna ukuu fulani na ndani mwako. Have you seen some great people? Mwaje wana watu wakuu. Because this is exactly what the devil the past the devil has taken and given to his children. They were dio tu mstari ambao shetani amechukua na kupatia watoto wake. When they worship him, wanapoabudu yeye ibilisi, he gives them these two things. Anawapatia vitu vingi. He gives them the field anawapatia ile kujulikana sifa and he gives them some greatness na anawapatia ukuu fulani. It is this that the devil has stolen. He ndio msari wa shetani ameiba. The king the, the, the enemy the thief came not but to steal to kill and destroy. Mwizi haji ila kuua kuipa na kuharibu. The devil is bad. He steals the scriptures even. Shetani ni mbaya na anapanga maandiko. He steals the word of God. Anaiba neno la Mungu. He is a thief. Yeye ni mwizi. Wale ambao tumeokoka and to the few that believe him 
na kwa wale ambao wanamwamini he give them power aliwapatia uweza in him them power aliwapatia uweza to become his children to become wana wa Mungu to become his children to become wana wa Mungu you get born again when you get born again unapokoka you receive the power to become unapata nguvu ya kufanyika za kufanyika mwana wa Mungu you receive the power to become unapata nguvu za kufanyika the power to become rich nguvu za kufanyika nini the power to become rich nguvu za kukua tajiri the power to become great nguvu za kukua mkuu the power to rebuke the devil nguvu za kumkemea shetani the power to bring the devil down nguvu za kumkemea shetani chini the power to bring the devil down the source of power chanzo cha nguvu he will be through himself with into the wilderness and pray alijitoa kwa kudi akaenda jangwani na akaomba he will be through himself alitoka are we together kwa pamoja he 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 will be through himself and pray alijitoa that is why you get the power of god hapo ndipo unapata nguvu za bwana for the new pray and let go of as you see na unapoabudu you will surpass them all utashinda wote you will surpass them all utawashinda wote you will surpass them all utawashinda wote receive the power pokea nguvu Ashi was seeing I was feeling the power of God. Alipokuwa na imani ile isi nguvu za Mungu. As he is praying is that feeling the power of God. Anapotenda chapeta na isi nguvu za Mungu. Na isi kama si kama umeishi is not about the experience of seeing 20 years. Hiyo kwa ajili ya ujuzi na talanta ya kubimba. I don't need a prophet to know she is a prayer person. Au mtaje na pili kujua ya kwa ile tumwombezi. Then, yes, but he the wind akaenda into the wilderness katika jangwa and pray na kaomba our father baba yangu we are in today baba yangu we are in today leo tuko akaomba jesus began to pray Na Yesu akatoa mfano kwao. To them, kwao, that they should always pray. Ya kwamba itawapasa kuomba without ceasing. Bila kukoma. He gave them a parable. Akatoa mfano that demonstrates ya kwamba inaonyesha that you should pray. Ya kwamba waitaji kuomba bila kukoma. Mtume Yohana said I receive the grace to pray. Sema na pokea neema ya kuomba. Ni maombi ni maombi.
chanzo cha nguvu zetu that is where we get power of god hapo ndipo tunapata nguvu za bwana Na kupenda tu na kusherekea. It is clear 